Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a get and ready with me for bedtime. I already have my PJs on, so let's move to the face. I'm going to remove my um, face and eye makeup with my Garnier Micellar Water. This is something I'm using for like maybe over a year since I discovered it actually and I really like it. It's uh, really nice for my skin which is kind of sensitive and that's why I love this one because it's not harsh on it. I'm always starting by removing my eyelashes and because I'm so OCD I always put them back in their uh, little package so let's start with that. I really hope you like this type of makeup guys. I know that looks painful, but trust me, it's more like unpleasant than painful. <laughs> I really hope you like this type of video and if you do, just let me know and I will make sure I'll do more. I just wanted to do something different for you because I felt like I've said that I would have more beauty related videos, but uh, besides like hauls and some tutorials, I've never done anything else. So it was time for me to just spice a bit my channel. I hope this is a good start. Now that I removed my eyelashes and they are back into their little package, I will remove my eye makeup. I really want to show you what a huge difference is without makeup. You look like a newborn. <laughs> this micellar water, even though it's not that like powerful, let's say, it does its job, like it really gets rid of any makeup. You just have to maybe come back a little bit and touch up some places. I usually try to have circular motions just because I feel like it's nicer on the skin. Underneath my eyes I always have leftovers so I always try to go like I always try to fold the cotton pad and go with it gentle because I don't want to get any product in my eye. If I have a makeup that is like uh, this one with eyeliner on your waterline, I try to be very gentle and not get too deep. This eye is done and you can already see the huge difference that it makes. Let's get this one done as well. Let's remove all those colors and really pretty makeup, which I feel really bad about. Am I the only one feeling like crying when they remove the makeup? <laughs> or at least sometimes, because it's a, if it's a bad makeup or I don't have a good day, I just can't wait to get it off. <laughs> this one I could actually just take pictures and wear it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I really like makeup and if you haven't seen the tutorial yet, just follow the link in the description box. I'm sure you will enjoy it. By the way guys, don't forget about the sale on our Wetsy shop. Till the end of the month we still have 20% if you use our coupon code which is DIRA20 or DIRA looks 20 I'm gonna check but I think it's DIRA20. Anyway everything is going to be listed in the description box so make sure you check it. As you can see I really take my time when it comes to remove makeup because you don't want to be harsh on your skin like it's your face, <laughs> besides the fact that it's your skin. You wanna be really gentle and take care of it. Now I think it's time for me to move to the face. And removing the foundation, I must say it's my favorite part because I feel like my skin, like my face skin can literally breathe again. <laughs> I feel so bad for like my face skin when I, when, uh, I apply makeup but in the same time I enjoy it so much that I'm like okay you can deal girl. <laughs> Again circular motions and now taking my Himalaya moisturizer which you've seen before in my videos I'm just gonna hydrate my face because she really needs it and yes it's a she. I'm 
also going down my neck because my neck also needs hydration. He also wore the makeup. Okay, so I think that's all. I'm not going to apply on my eyes because I try not to apply creams that are not for eyes on my eyes. I don't know, it's just my thing. And yes, this one is a natural cream, it doesn't harm, but still, I don't want to do that. Uh, let me show you the cream, sorry. This is the cream. You can use whatever moisturizer you are used to or better said, your face is used to. And now I'm going to hydrate, hydrate my lips and I'm using just a regular aloe vera lip balm. I think that's all. I usually don't do that much because I feel like applying too many products is good sometimes, but sometimes it's not. So for this particular day, I just chose not to apply too many because as you can see, I have some breakouts going on and I just want to leave my face as natural as I can. Of course, I will just remove and take my bun off before getting into bed. But yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed my video and this type of video. And again, if you wanna see more of uh, different videos on my channel, I will be so happy to do them for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and if you are new to my channel my name is Diana and I try to post twice a week so if you want to see more of me just turn on the notification bell down below and you will see me sooner than you expect trust me yeah thank you very much for watching guys and good night bye